Doug Iglesias, Technical Services Development Manager for Parker Hannifin on how hydraulic hybrid trucks capture energy as quick as possible and use it again as quick as possible to manage the stop and go process for refuse truck drivers and other fleet applications. A lot of people know, a lot of people know about electric hybrids. Uh, a lot of people do not know about hydraulic hybrids and we're really in a, a big stage of educating people right now about hydraulic hybrids. And there's a couple of main differences. Um, one, a hy hydraulic hybrid, the number one goal there is to capture energy as quick as possible and then use it again as quick as possible. And so what we do on a hydraulic hybrid is we disconnect on our advanced series hybrid. There's a couple of different models of hybrid. Um, but on the advanced series hybrid, we remove the Allison transmission and this would be on a class 8 refuse truck. We uh, decouple the engine from the rear wheels so the engine does not drive the truck and we put in a series of hydrostatic pump motors and reservoirs, a high pressure reservoir to, and a low pressure reservoir to collect the hydraulic fluid and then we put a three-stage gearbox so we have a hydrostatic low and a hydrostatic high. Hydrostatic low is from 0 to 25 miles per hour 25 to 42 miles per hour would be hydrostatic high, and direct drive would be above that, above 42 miles per hour. And the reason we package all those together is, especially in a refuse application, the majority of that refuse uh, truck's life is stop and go. About 80% of its time is stop and go, and then it runs off to the landfill at the end of the day. So with the demand to accelerate from one can to the next, we need to let that energy out and then we need to capture it when the driver hits the brakes.